you can actually create a whiteboard in advance. This is a space that could be collaborative or maybe you're just presenting from. But if I go to the meeting where I want a whiteboard for, I'd click in and along the top, I'm going to have a meeting whiteboard tab. Again, I can do this before the meeting actually starts. And now I get to choose, do I want it to be only me using this whiteboard to present or do I want it to be a more collaborative space where others can write on? Well, let's choose to collaborate on the whiteboard. I'm going to want my students to work on it. And now I get to actually create it in advance. If I have other ones I want to look at, I would click the Home tab and it would show me other whiteboards I've used in the past. In my case, I'm going to create from start. I could put a title. I'm not going to be creative. I'll just say example. I can use notes, including post-it notes. And I could let my students have post-it notes. Again, potentially a good way to collaborate. In my case, I'll delete it. I've got things like the writing tools, uh, people can use the chat bubble to quote and say, not a great title. So a good way for students to actually note to each other. And if I click back, I can also do things like bring in images and documents. So maybe I have something like a PDF or a PowerPoint slide that I want my students to actually work on. And I can go from, say, my OneDrive, I could upload my own files, and it gives me some options. Again, if I want to bring in a PDF or a PowerPoint, I would just find it depending on where it was and bring it in. If I go near the top right, I do have a few options, including I can set a timer. I can share this file. So maybe after the class is over, I want to actually share this with the class to keep working on it or just have it as follow up for their notes. You can also edit the settings by clicking the settings menu, the sprocket symbol in the top right. And the most important ones in here are things like being able to export it. Maybe I want to export a copy of it. Uh, do I want collaborative cursors? So being able to see where people are editing, assuming of course that I'm allowing people to edit, I can toggle that here. I can choose if I have the authors, so who worked on something and who last edited it, which can be very useful of course. And otherwise, the rest of it you might play around with, but I think those are the key points. And once I've created this whiteboard in advance, when I go into the meeting and start up the whiteboard, this would be listed as one I could share with the team. So I can preset things in advance.